Hey gang, in today's video I'm going to show you all how to properly install your Dalco cover that came free with the Bass Tracker 40th Anniversary Heritage Boat. I'm also going to show you all other ways to protect your boat while fishing from the elements. Let's get to it. The first thing that we're going to talk about is protecting the seats of your boat and other plastic trim. As we know, the sun with its UV rays can truly, truly damage your paint, your vinyl and plastic products. It can just rot the color right out of it, make it look old and faded and like you don't love it. And uh, so one of the products that I like to use on my kayaks and my cars, anything that is not painted, but more so just raw like plastic trim and things like that. I use 303 Aerospace Protectant and um, I've been using it for years. It is a fantastic product. I use it on convertible tops, um, anything, anything, you know, polyurethane kayaks, all of that stuff. You just take it, you spray it, and you wipe it in. It uh, sprays out white and you just wipe it in and it protects it. Um, you see those commercials where you have the trucks or vehicles like the Chevy Avalanches, the Toyota FJ Cruisers, anything like that where you have plastic trim on the side of them. They're like, use this product, spray it on, and it looks brand new. Just use this. This stuff will protect it and bring the shine back to the right color, and uh, it, it, it just works. I believe in it so much until I have, you know, a lot of 303. The second thing we'll talk about is protecting your electronics. First, you want to make sure that any type of electrical com uh, component has some type of grease on it. Vaseline works, just like you want to do your batteries. Just throw a little grease on it, and uh, that'll keep out water. Second thing, make sure everything is protected with some type of protector. Um, a lot of these Garmin fish finders I have, they have these rubber grommets on. So whenever I have a wire that's going to hang out, I make sure that I have the wires protected. I apologize about the angle for this video as we put this cover on so you know th this should just help you get you in the right direction but if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer it or if I have to I'll do a follow-up video. So you want to start unrolling your cover on the bow of the boat. One thing I want to point out that we'll get to on the other side is on the inside of your cover you'll see three of these strips. Three of these strips. These strips are to hold the poles that come with your cover. There are three poles that come with your cover and I'll show you how to install those. Second thing, this white fabric soft side, this is to protect the windshield. So that's how, you know, if you didn't know this is for this side of the boat and as you pull the cover on you want to make sure that that's covering this if it's anywhere else you probably don't have it on correctly now one thing about this cover this cover is custom made specifically for this boat it's custom made specifically for this boat all the way down to the trolling motor. On the side of the trolling motor, what you want to make sure is that your prop is faced on the inside of the boat and not on the outside. Second thing is you'll notice that there is a pocket on the bow on the left side where that trolling motor is. Because if you like to leave your trolling motor on your boat while it's covered, they do account for that. There is a pocket. Not something that's hanging out but just a little extra space in case that trolling motor is there especially if you have yours a little lower in the water than most there is some space for it you don't you shouldn't have to remove your trolling motor or adjust it out of the way unless it like I said you have yours way way deep on the bow of the boat now this cover is good for protection while at home in the garage or under a tree wherever you have it but it's also a cover that you can trailer with 
to your final destination. And when you trailer your boat, you are required by the instructions, and I would say that you should use these straps. There are various anchor points along this cover. One right here, one on the bow, one on the other side. You can utilize these straps and you just take it through the hook and then take it around the frame. If you are going to be storing your boat at home or trailering it, you must do this step. Now, I didn't show you all this, but if you can't get your cover on your boat, open this ratchet out and let some of this rope out right here. What you'll notice is one side has a strap and one side is a rope. The rope is what tightens down that cover. The strap is what locks it down to the back of the boat. Here are the straps right here. Here's another anchor point right here. So you're going to anchor onto the bottom of the frame of the trailer. But you're going to use this rubber piece that's going to cover across the back of the uh, motor transom mount and um, this is how you lock the boat up and it's one on this side and one on the other side but you want to make sure it's going across right there and you're, you're going to connect them but before you do any strapping we're not locking anything in place now I didn't show you all any of that I just showed you where the straps were and where we're going to connect them but I did not do those so if you've already done that following the video that's not what I did. <laughs> so don't blame me. Let's talk about these poles. You get three of these poles right here. As you notice, we have a little, I'm not sure if you can tell it, but you can look at your bolt cover. There's a little square. Here's a square. And right here is a square. Remember those straps I showed you on the inside of the cover? That's for those straps. Uh, the straps are directly underneath those squares. What we're gonna be doing is installing these tubes and you're gonna adjust them. You just untwist it, and they go up and down. They extend, and you twist it back and you lock it. So we're gonna go underneath the cover for this part. You wanna be on this side of the boat. And while it's strapped down like that, you can get under here. So we're gonna put the camera in here, and we're gonna turn some light on, and hopefully you all can see what I'm doing. Okay, we are underneath the cover right here. We're gonna take one of these. Here's a strap hanging down. And uh, like I said, I'm going to take this in. You can tell one side of the stick is a base. It almost looks like a base on a, like it would on a, on a walking cane or something or a crutch. And I'm going to take it up, put it on the square and stick it up. That looks about good right there. Um, and I think I've already, this was the one I had in the center. So now that I have the adjustment, I'm going to take this, slide it in the sleeve. And I'm sliding at an angle just so I can get it all the way in the sleeve. And then I push it up like that and it stands up. Okay, so this one's installed in the center. Now you all will see me install the other two. All right, so now what we have is we have the center protected all the way down. So any type of wire that comes over here is gonna just roll on down. It's not gonna collect. Where the windshield is, it's gonna roll all the way off the boat. Okay, so now it's time to start to strap the boat down. So let's do some checks. Number one, we wanna make sure this strap is connected which we need to do. It needs to be connected. And remember I told you go between the motor uh, frame right there. If you're going to be trailering the boat, you want to make sure you have If you're going to be frame, uh, trailering the boat, you want to make sure this strap is strapped down with one of the safety straps and especially the one on the bow of the boat is strapped down. I didn't show you all strapping those down, but follow your instructions. This is just to help you. 
Now what you want to do is, after everything is done, you want to pull the, as much rope as you can <clears throat> to where it's tight. And then we're going to start wrapping this thing down. Funny thing about this rope, for whatever reason, it is not catching on this side. The other side catches. <laughs> this one. Let's see. There we go. You want to do that to the other side too. This thing is going to be really, really tight. And I hope you all just saw that. What I did was I, it wasn't catching. And um, so we uh, took the string out and then we refed it just so it would get tight within those grooves and it started to do it. So let's go back to this side real quick. Finally, although this is a custom cover and it protects the majority of your boat, you will see that you have this last pocket where water can get inside of the boat even animals you know you might want to make sure that no animals are going to get inside your boat uh, by putting mothballs or something in there something that make them i don't know if that'll damage the boat I, i'm just saying it's something that won't create some type of toxic uh corrosion thing to destroy your boat or cover but something to keep the animals out if you can um but the second, uh, the thing is, is that water is going to roll down and it can roll down to your boat. This hatch right here, the door is aluminum. Water gets on that, that's fine. But you want to make sure that your plug is not in your boat. You know not to do that, right? Don't install, don't keep your plug in your boat. Well, you definitely want, don't want to do it if you're storing your boat outside because water can start to collect inside the boat and um, then you're going to have an issue so you want to if you have that plug out any wire that gets inside can drain out and you also see that I can still access my uh, charger I have a uh, cable in here underneath this door so I can still keep my boat charged without having to do anything so only thing you need to remember with that is to make sure you disconnect the cable when you're ready to go fishing uh, final thing um, I'm not showing you in this video but I am going to do it Replace these transom straps. The ones that come with the boat are garbage. Okay. <clears throat> I decided to go ahead and show you all how to install one of these straps. Just because it might be a little confusing for some. Uh, so what you have is, you have the buckle that comes together inside one of these straps. So, this is the male end. This is the female end. You want to start the female end first. Take it through one of these anchor points. Start at the top of it. And then go back underneath and come through the other side. And now <coughs> we're going to Pull this cable. And let's see. Let's see. Yeah, about right there. Probably gonna want to have that one. You can do it wherever you like to do it. I'm gonna go underneath. We're at the back on the transom after the boat, and. Uh, I just went underneath. And so now what we're gonna do, this is the most important part to make sure this thing locks. The front of the, the front of the strap, there isn't anything, well, I guess you can see, the back of it has holes in it, the front is flat. So you wanna make sure the back of it is facing the boat. That's the only way this thing will lock. If it's going any other way, that strap will not lock when you want to adjust it. So you're going to just take it in and then go back through the other side. Just leave a little bit, connect it. Once it's connected, then you can pull it down. 
Hey, Bree. <laughs> I'm about to come upstairs. There. That strap is on. We're going to probably do the other side. The, we'll do the other side exact same way. And you just strap it to the trailer. There are no attach points on this trailer. You just go around the frame. Hope that helps. You all take care. All in all, I know it wasn't a big how-to, but I think it's more than what's out there from the Dalco website. And I haven't seen anyone else showing you what to do. So um, if the video helps you, you know, please like uh, the video. If you have any questions, please ask. I'll try to respond back to you. And um, if you really like what I do, please subscribe. This has been another video for the Tracker Bass Tracker Heritage uh, 40th Anniversary Boat. It's a whole mouthful to say for this retro bass boat, but it's doggone cool. And I'm happy to be one of the first um, with the boat, you know. So uh, ask any questions. You all take care, Jamie. Yes, no.